Hey everybody, how you doing? I've uh, got a little quick video I want to show you. Um, uh, I bet you've seen some of my other videos. I had a four-wheeler. It was a Kawasaki Brute Force. It was 2009. Had that for 11 years. Uh, the fuel pump just went on it. I paid to get it all fixed and put it back in good shape. And I kept selling it because uh, I wanted something new. Um, just being disabled and everything, I didn't want to have something that I can rely on way out in the middle of nowhere. And, that fuel pump kind of gave me a little scare. It's like, geez, like, I'm way out in the middle of nowhere by myself. I could be in big trouble. So I needed to buy something new. And I've had that for, like I said, 11 years, plowing snow and stuff with it. She's been a great four-wheeler. A lot of low-end torque. If anybody's looking for a good four-wheeler, Brute Force is a good contender, that 750 V-Twin. But uh, I decided to buy something else. And you all saw what my brother bought a while back. We showed you on one of the videos. So I ended up purchasing a Can-Am. So let me show you what I got. There it is, right there. It's a 650 Can Am 4 V Twin. Uh, the brute force was a 750, so I went down 100 cc's. But supposedly the brute force has roughly 50 horsepower, and this one has 62. But uh, just driving it as I drive this one now, and I've driven the brute force. Brute force has lower, low end, a lot of torque in the low end. These ones are a little faster because you know, obviously you got to gear it one way or the other. You're going to gear it a little bit for a little bit more speed or gear it for uh, low end torque. And uh, this is a little bit more speed, but this one actually even registers that little. It'll tow even a little bit more than the brute force, but it's a really good four wheel. It rides smooth, very smooth riding. Uh, it's a little taller, a little wider than the brute force too, and uh, I really like it. It's going to be a great four wheel. It should last me quite a while, but. Um, yeah, so my next few videos will be with this new Can-Am 650. We'll take you a little, show you around the front and the back. The front end on it's got a 3,500 pound winch. Bought this extra rack in the front so I can keep my chainsaws and stuff in that instead of having that extra back rack like the Brute Force did. I like that brute, that rack on the Brute Force, but the only problem with that is, is sometimes because that back rack stuck out a little bit, that um, you couldn't hook up some trailers because that rack was too far back. So now this is just within the same, you know, distance as the four-wheeler is. So this will be better, I think. And it'll be in the front. 650 V-twin fuel injected. Real nice, real nice four-wheeler. Well, that's all I got for that for now. I got a few more things coming up. Got a lot more work to do on the property. Camp is just about finished. So we'll probably show you that next. Thanks again for watching.